Welcome to Bible Bites, everybody. Pastor Dan here with you, and we are in Matthew 9. We're going to finish up Matthew chapter 9 today. In fact, we're going to pick up in verse 35, which really summarizes well chapter 9, and uh, especially the last two videos, if you were to see that, what we're going to read kind of summarizes or sums up um, those, those things that happened. So let's begin here reading. And Jesus went throughout all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues. So synagogues uh, were little temples. That might not be a correct description, but they were places of worship. Um, like we have local churches. Uh, synagogues were uh, places of, of worship. They also were where uh, much of the education of of children in cities would happen also so um, in some ways it was a, a public uh, a central public building uh, that probably served other uses as well uh, not just education and and, um, and that of a religious nature but other things going on too but yeah so that's what synagogues are and Jesus would go to different villages in the area in Israel. And mostly here speaking about up in Galilee, the northern area of Israel. And he would go to these synagogues. And uh, he would teach people from, from there. It says, and there he, pro uh, he, teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the gospel of the ki kingdom. So this is what he is proclaiming, what he's teaching, the gospel the good news, that's what gospel means, good news of the kingdom, and healing every disease and affliction. Uh, and I think there the word every disease and every affliction is very purposeful, meant to show that nothing was beyond the power and authority of Jesus. Uh, so he has that authority over everything, no matter what it was. Uh, this that really just sums up Jesus ministry in a nutshell right there this is what he spent his days doing when he saw the crowds meaning Jesus when he saw the crowds he had compassion for them uh, so now this is uh, a comment on how the the disciples particularly how Matthew understood Jesus view of uh, of the crowds, of what he was doing, of what Jesus was doing. And, and Matthew states that he had compassion on them. Most likely, Jesus actually talked about that with his disciples. Matthew would have been very close to Jesus, one of the closest people to Jesus uh, when Jesus walked here on this earth. And he had compassion for them because they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. So you can just picture a shepherd as he's caring for sheep, right? And if there were some sheep that had no shepherd, uh, what we know about sheep is that uh, they're not the brightest animals. They, they, they literally need someone to take care of them, uh, or they will die. They will be scattered. They will be eaten, all, you know, by predators. Um, yeah, so they need they need shepherds and 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 so Jesus was using that imagery here. Uh, and then he said to his disciples, uh, "This may be just as twelve, but it also could be other disciples uh, as well. The harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few." So Jesus again is using imagery of planting and farming. And he's referring to the fact that there are a lot of people who are ready to hear the good news. They're ready to respond to God. Uh, but they need laborers. But we, there needs to be laborers that go out and, uh, and, and provide what is needed, right? Um, the, you know, if it's reaping the, the fruit of, of the harvest. Uh, so those who are ready to hear and, and receive the good news, 
they need the good news, right? And that's what laborers do. They they sow seed. They they reap harvest. Um, they um, yeah. So he says, and and Jesus says, therefore pray earnestly to the Lord of the harvest. So he's the Lord. He oversees the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. So there are uh, many people who uh, are religious in nature or. Uh, who attend worship services, um, many fewer though who are actually laborers in the harvest. Um, yeah, so these are people that are actually sent out, they, they proclaim the good news. Now all are supposed to proclaim the good news, really all should be laborers. Um, and some, uh, some are, uh, I think so, some aren't, but what we can see here is that we need laborers and I know just in the ministry that I'm a part of and ministering to our community often that is our prayer God can you send us laborers send us those who who want to do this hard work of discipling investing in others lives all right that's chapter 9 the next video we pick up with chapter 10 see you then